What's up everybody? It's your girl Lou. Whoa, whoa. Lou of Lou Productions and what it do with Lou West Side Story newspaper representing. Yes, Launch of Unique Entertainment. We pride ourselves in providing platforms for artists um, to be able to display their gifts and their talents. You know, that's what we do. You know, the IE is so saturated. I've been saying this all the damn time. Yeah, I'm a cusser, so I'm just gonna let y'all know that right off the rip. That's what the fuck I do. That's what we do. Y'all like, why she cussing? You know, but um, the IE is saturated with so many talented um, artists, um, just not just from the youth, but to adults. and. Um, we get overlooked, so that's one of the things that I really wanted to do was just, um, like I said, to be able to showcase and um, provide different um, avenues for them. And I'm talking about all talent, not just rapping and singing, but you know, actors and actresses, models. Um, you know, we work right now um, in the community with um, plus size models. You know, um, I love that. That was um, something that was um, really dear and special to me because um, being, you know, kind of thick myself, I eat, I, I eat, so I gets down. That's what it is, you know. And just because I do and I got, um, you know, a fat, a foo pie, is that what they call that shit, a foo pie, you know, don't mean that I'm not beautiful, you know what I'm saying? And there's so many beautiful um, plus size women. So, you know, we just wanted to embrace that, you know, especially being a woman in this industry, you know, and um, having to always fight, you know, and um, to, um, just to just to prove myself that you know I'm more than just that that I, I work and I grind and um, we just like to uplift and edify um, everybody but also you know women so that's why we did the plus size model competition it's a five hundred dollar competition y'all get in it we looking for some women get that your money hey hey so look I just want to give a shout out to Lou for making all this possible for these kids y'all and for us to come together because you know what a healthy mind has community right so we're all a community here we all making it happen and stuff like that so the other day i was talking to a friend of mine and my friend was like you just busy like you just do like a whole bunch of shit you know what i mean like you just spread yourself so thin and da 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 da, da. but it's not that i'm just trying to just do shit you know what i mean i feel like i'm trying to do the right shit basically you know what i mean i don't have my hands in everything you know i feel like i have my hands in what's needed um you know loop productions is more than just a management company we're about our community here with me yeah. all the doctors make the old people well they're the ones who suffer catch all the hell but they don't have so very long What's up, IE and everybody? It's your girl, Lou of Lou Productions, out here at the Feldheim Library doing our thing. It's our fourth year where we get together and mobilize with different community members and organizations to help feed the homeless. You know what I'm saying? We're about getting out there, you know, like I said earlier, to um, uplift my people, you know, in any, any way possible, shape, form, or fashion. You know, um, you, we, we love our youth. You know, you know, we have, um, we do PSAs. We have one going on right now, hashtag guns down. You know, talking about the gun violence. Um, shout out to Nice Dreams. He's going to be working with us. Um, we're going to be interviewing some um, individuals from the community who grew up um, and who actually experienced these things. But this is not gun violence. I talk about, we're talking about black on black crime because that shit need to stop too. You know what I'm saying? Just everything. Lou was one of the main people that I knew in the city that was actually doing something important and actually putting a spotlight for people that, you know what I mean, is trying to do something. Hey, hey. hey. it's hey. CC it's baby. It's CC baby. It's SP baby. It's baby. Hey, hey. She said she wanted to tune it up for your boy. Uh, I come through. I don't do everything by myself. Um, you know, I was smart enough to know that I need help. Um, and, you know, if people who say they made it on their own, they're 
freaking lion. You know what I mean? It takes a team. And I want to definitely shout out my core, Freddie Washington, um, who is um, director of our media and our photographer, and also Davida Foy, my girl, who is director of administrative services and, and a whole bunch of stuff. We wear so many different hats. It's not even funny, but those two are definitely um, a big part of Lou Productions and helping us keep things afloat because we do so much just from production to um, community involvement and then also we manage artists. I want to shout out um, my artist um, Mac Pepperboy. Alright, what it is man, Mac Pepperboy, the hottest thing on the street since the bottom of your feet. Give me five minutes and I'm going to be right at you. Definitely check him out. He got some stuff that he's gonna be dropping real soon. Um, my group Guap fam, Guap. Um, they just dropped their um, their LP um, from Flick and Roaches on Melrose. You definitely gotta check that out. Definitely lyrical gassing. We do everything, you know. Just we are here to serve basically you know if you're looking for management if you're looking for someone to help you to um, coordinate your event we do event coordination the whole nine um also too we're bringing back our late night spotlight um we used to have that kraken it's just another avenue where we just provide a platform for artists to come do their thing and then for people um to, to network you never know who you may meet um in that um environment and um and then i do my interview i talk my shit that's what i like to do i like to do my interviews and get in people's head and you know bring it out of them and whatnot so what? in Palm Springs and I'm in San Bernardino. So, um, if you have kids that go to... It'll be a lot of more of that. I um, mean, running my mouth, my big ass mouth. Yes. Um, and then I write for the West Side Story newspaper. Um, have my own article called What It Do With Lou. And another platform for artists where we promote jaw and um, different events and just it's good to, you know, to get your information out, you know, you know, through publication as well, um, versus social media, to, you know, the only platform. So. First event that you threw? Oh wow, my very first event. Um, it was with the youth. I did um, a youth competition. It was right here in San Bernardino, held at the Women's Club. That's why the Women's Club on E Street is very special to me too. Um, loved it. We had so many talented kids that came out and um, participated, and we awarded them and gave them cash prizes and just to see their little faces and um, you know, like man, I I'm doing my talent, I'm doing my thing. So, yeah, that was my very first show. Oh, God, being an entrepreneur, you're going to have so many different things. Uh, one of my biggest things um, that is different, dealing with different people's personalities. You come across different personalities all the time and you really have to be a strong individual, individual <laughs> and um, well equipped just you know what I'm saying mentally to be able to handle the different um, you know attitudes and the you know temperaments and the things that go on um, in this business I think that right there to me is the biggest in my opinion <laughs> I got started being an entrepreneur was because I'm a boss bitch. Not funny. <laughs> no, I no, honestly I got started being an entrepreneur was because I um, well really no I'm not lying. It's because I you know I'm the type of person that um, 
I, I march to the beat of my own drum. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't follow the norm. I don't, um, I'm, I'm not that one that's trying to be in the crowd of everybody and whatnot, you know. And um, this is something that I love doing. This is my passion, um, working with um, the youth, adults, just everybody in, um, in the industry on every um, platform. And I felt that um, definitely, you know, to make money. Let, let me just say that too. You know what I'm saying? I mean, let me let me let me run that shit. Let me run that back. You know, definitely. You know, wanting to be an entrepreneur too. You know, another source of um, stream of income. Um, you know, um, I, I should hope that everybody who <laughs> who is into entrepreneurship is trying to get their money, get that bag. Um, but also. I want to build a legacy, you know what I mean? I want people to know, you know what I'm saying, that, you know, um, this individual was born and raised right here in the Ill Empire and she served her community and she served her people and, you know, and, and she did that, you know, that, that's why I, I'm, why I do what I do, you know what I'm saying, so, yeah. Change Stand up, let's see, hands up, let's see, leaders in the...